Hey everyone, James Azar here with the CyberHub Podcast. It's Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. Let's get right into your practitioner brief. But today's practitioner brief is brought to you by our friends over at Know Before. Go check them out. Link right below the description to this video or audio podcast as you are listening. Make sure to check out their um, amazing ransomware tool. I'm telling you, it's definitely one to give it a try. Let's go do that. Now let's get into our practitioner brief, which you can get on our website at cyberhubpodcast.com. Register there, get our PDF in your inbox daily, Monday through Thursday by 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, all the links, all the stories that we talk about, everything you need, including reference articles, uh, links to the patches, to the vulnerabilities, to the CVE, so you can get a lot more detail beyond this five-minute podcast is all available there. Again, cyberhubpodcast.com for that. Let's begin. The CCPA enforcement is alive and it's starting now. The enforcement of the California Consumer Privacy Act officially began yesterday on Wednesday, despite the lack of a final codified version of the regulation. The law applies to organizations, regardless of location, that have access to Californians' personal details. Regulatory experts advise that organizations should prepare to comply with the draft resolution presented by the California Attorney General Xavier Becerra office to the state's office of administration law for final approval on june 1st technically however the ccpa is not yet enforceable until the oal completes its review and returns the resolution to the attorney general's office nevertheless in a tuesday statement uh becara announced that the attorney generals would begin enforcing the measure as of yesterday very, very interesting. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of legal challenges on it. There's a lot of people talking about this. We have all the details around CCPA available on our PDF. Make sure you check that out. Microsoft released an emergency security update for Windows 10 and server. Microsoft has quietly, and I don't know why, pushed out two emergency security updates to fix remote code execution bugs in Microsoft Windows Codec's library. Microsoft's Kodak library handles the new OS compresses of large multimedia files such as photos and videos, then decodes them for playback, playback within the app. The Out of Bounds update is addressing a critical severity flaw, CVE 2021-425, and an important severity vulnerability, CVE 2021-457, were sent via Windows Update Tuesday night and affect several versions of the Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019. Both vulnerabilities allow for remote code execution in the way that Microsoft Windows Codex library handles objects in memory according to the update. Very, very, very important to patch these. Microsoft um, credited uh, security researcher Abdul Aziz Hariri for identifying the flaws and reporting them to Trend Micro's Zero Day Initiative. That's according to a published report on ZDNet as well. It's not completely uncommon for Microsoft to do this kind of stuff where you know, a week away from the second Tuesday of every month, that's known as Patch Tuesday. We'll sure we'll have more there, but this is apparently couldn't wait until that Tuesday. And for our final story of the day, TrickBot malware now checks screen resolution to evade analysis. I've been talking about TrickBots now for about two years. Really, as, as, as a Trojan, it's infectious, it's problematic, it's targeting financial institutions. Um, and so... Due to this, malware commonly uses anti-VM techniques to detect whether the malware is running on a virtual machine. And if it is, it's most likely being analyzed by a researcher or an, or an automated sandbox system. Now the TrickBot has specific screen resolutions where you're unable to identify it. Those are available on our PDF. You can go check them out there. Again, trying to keep this podcast under five minutes, folks. I don't want to overwhelm you. You don't want to create a lot of data. We get a lot of feedback for, for being under five minutes. Again, you want to read this, go to cyberhubpodcast.com. See all the details right there. That's it for our podcast today. And your practitioner brief, again, cyberhubpodcast.com. Check them out. Know before, support our sponsors that are in the description for this specific podcast. Very excited to have Roger Grimes on from Know Before um, soon on our Tech Corner. So make sure you check that out. Until tomorrow, folks, this is James Azar wishing you all one very important thing. Stay cyber safe. Happy 4th of July. Enjoy your weekend, guys. We'll be back on Monday with a lot more. Happy 4th of July, and until then, I'll sign off again and say, please, please, please stay cyber safe.